and away we go. So, rather nice church, Swine's Head. And uh, yeah, we're lost. <laughs> oh, we are so lost, but I'm following Rich. So, my sat now keeps telling me to turn right. But uh, anyway, never mind. I've got, a, I've got a backup sat nav with me, but it's not going the same way as Richard's. But he ain't got us lost yet, so. Lord knows where we're going. Well, I think I've come up with a name for the... Uh, oh, no, it is. It's the same flipping road. It's shut. Town Biker's Mysterious Adventure, I think. So you might have seen uh, a level crossing we came to there. Um, we're nearly certain that that was the one that was closed. We've just ridden in a big circle for no reason. And that the closed road signs have literally just been taken down. Literally within seconds of us being there. So I don't know. Very strange. Well, we got ourselves well and truly lost thanks to one stupid diversion which wasn't properly marked and we finally found the A16 so uh, it's taking us back to flipping Boston so I'm assuming that the turn in for yeah blooming at the mercy of a sat nav I'm afraid which is never good so, just had a bit of a catastrophe. This rotten exhaust system has come apart, but thankfully it hasn't brought me off. Just give me a rather nasty scare. Anyway, we're uh, we're going to abandon the rest of this ride and just limp home because uh, I'm quite a long way from home and I can't take any more of these bouncy roads. So uh, let's just hope that's the end of it. But at least if I get onto the main road, I'll feel better. This these sheer hammering the bike's taken from these horrible hard roads. But that um, heat shield literally fell to pieces. So where I've lost that load alone only knows. The roads are so rough, it's literally shaking the bike to bits. Anyway, it's made my mind up to bite the bullet. a new exhaust on this blooming bike talk about out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> unfortunately I've spoilt uh, Richard's ride because uh, we were going to see Skeggy. Mind you, we've been riding around for ages. We've been completely lost and at the mercy of a sat-nav that uh, 
I don't know what it was doing, but basically just took us on a big loop around Boston. We're no further on now than we were an hour ago. And I am utterly exhausted. So I said to Richard, for the sake of safety, I need to get back onto a main trunk road, an A road that's smooth. And something that's not going to uh, add to me fatigue. But I feel really, really tired. I'm, I'm completely burnt out. Uh, so I think, you know, for the sake of safety, I need to, uh, to turn for home. I've got Rich behind me, so if the exhaust comes undone again, at least I'll know this time. It's the biggest wonder it had, had me off. But I think it's going to be worth having it done. This is going to cost a bob or two, unfortunately, so the, guy, the bike might have to be laid up for a while. We shall see. Okay, so this is on the A16. Don't know how long my batteries are going to last. I only say I haven't got a clue. But uh, we're on our way back home with uh, a broken exhaust system which we've managed to bung together. And a sat nav system that's seriously getting on my nerves. So I'm going to have to stop in a minute and turn the damn thing off because it's getting on my nerves. And of course, what do we see? The signs for Skagnet. Well, we have had the journey from hell. Uh, haven't recorded anything since uh, I had the breakdown because I've been too busy nursing the bike. But uh, just thought I'd come back on to finish my vlog. And as you can see, we're back on the dual carriageway. But we have hit one problem after another. It's been a right old afternoon. Um, you know, when you think you're doing really well and then all of a sudden we hit heavy traffic. Um, on the A18 and it's one thing after another stop start stop and it's been like it's just really heavy traffic and really unpleasant riding conditions and it's a glorious day it's such a shame so I've made the decision I was talking to Richard and Richard said he'd be quite happy to help me fit a new exhaust however I don't want to go down that path um, I decided that uh, what I would like to do is uh, just take it down to uh, the local garage because what I want them to do is I want I actually want RM to go over this bike with a fine tooth case I have a very good friend who works uh, Mike Cartledge and what Mike doesn't know about the GS range Suzuki's it's not worth knowing so I really want uh, my friend Mike to have a look at it and give it a really thorough once over because uh, I've got to keep this bike for a good while so um, while they've got the body panels off and they're fitting the uh, a complete new exhaust system I want him to just go over all the cables and just you know, just put a mechanic's eye over the bike I'm not a mechanic, I'm a medic I'll never be a mechanic, I have no illusions about that uh, I'm, I started learning at 62 years of age I think it's a little bit late in the day to become an expert and on something like this bike um, where my, my safety is at uh, issue I want it right so and for what bit extra it'll cost because I mean fitting the exhaust about an hour's work give or take so um, I think it's worth it and also you know it'll get rid of this problem the, the, what's happened today is that the, the roads we've been on have literally shook the bike to bits first of all what I didn't realise was <coughs> we've been bounced about that much it had actually broken the welds on the um, heat shield so first of all I lost that and then it, what's happened is it's bounced the bike about and, and in the end the exhaust system has wriggled free and the tailpipe and connector pipe came out but this is a really butchered exhaust system really seriously butchered so I, I think it's long overdue it's, the bike's just turned uh, 50,000 miles so I, I reckon a, a decent exhaust system fitting on it now will be money well spent because the rest of the bike's fine. The only the only part of this bike that's um, that's given any issue has is, is always been this exhaust system. 
Uh, Richard and I, while we were having our coffee break, stopped and had, we had a look to see what sort of money I'll be spending. And, uh, well, from as little as 150 quid for a full system, Delvic. Uh, and, I, you know, I really don't care what it is as long as it does the job properly. Um, the OEM system is quite expensive. However, I, I, I am tempted to go down the o OEM road. Uh, if, particularly if it makes the bike more civilised. Uh, I know there's a lot of you who think I'm mad, but I, I just don't like noisy exhaust systems. That's my choice. And nothing and nobody will convince me differently. Uh, here comes the boy wondering how he's been at me finally. He's, he's been playing catch up with me. <sighs> Unfortunately, I've enjoyed the ride. I enjoyed the ride right up to the point where we had the technical problems. Uh, and then it was a bit fractious. But uh, I settled down to ride the bike home and uh, I put the back, luckily I know how to put the exhaust back together so I did the best I could. But Richard had a look at it and he said, yeah it's done, it's knackered, he wants to replace it and I agree with him. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it anymore, I'm just going to bite the bullet and sort it. Thankfully, I, I, I'm not quite so brassed off about the, the, having to have it done um, because I didn't, I didn't buy a crash helmet. Um, they couldn't, um, you couldn't do anything with the interior of the helmet, you either put another XL in or nothing, so it's easier just to use a, um, a balaclava and then when I can afford it I'll swap it. But it, it isn't a priority thankfully at the moment, it's far from it. So uh, we'll get the exhaust sorted first and we'll worry about the rest later. Uh, and then it'll just be a bit of peace of mind that the bikes had that check over as well. So it's the following morning back home and as I said on the vlog, uh, <laughs> I had a bit of a disaster. The uh, link pipe disconnected uh, and so I ended up with the, the can dropping down but hit the floor but luckily bounced up. If it had gone down and back it would have had me off. Uh, first I knew of it was the most horrendous noise coming from the exhaust. I couldn't understand what it was to start with and then uh, suddenly realised, bloody hell I know what that is. Uh, just before, it, um, I actually heard something the other day when I was out with Rich and I think that was the flipping, um, that heat guard, it came off, I think the wells broke. So we won't be putting any more of those stupid things on. Uh, I think basically I'm going to have to at some point get another exhaust system for it and I've found a Black Widow but uh, motorcycling on a budget as I do I'm going to have to be patient and wait. Uh, unfortunately unlike some of me uh, friends I can't just walk out and buy something I have to plan everything. So what I've done this morning is I've put the exhaust back together properly I've cleaned everything, repaired everything, I'll show you some pictures and uh, put the exhaust back together with a new exhaust clamp and tightened it all up and it's, it's fine it's, it's okay it's not a pretty thing but it'll do for now and I'll just have to be careful as to how it came undone well um, one of the things about riding with Rich I, I do ride the bike harder if I'm being honest at times I'm probably a little bit beyond my ability uh, so uh, that's just how it is it's, it's no it's no you know I'm not making any criticism of Richard he's a great bloke to ride with uh, it's just, I'm just getting old and slow, <laughs> I can't tell you more than that. But um, yeah, and, and, and we were on some incredibly, incredibly bumpy roads and I'm still in pain this morning. I don't mind admitting my lower back is hurting me at the moment so I'm going to stay away from my bike for a day or two. Um, I don't want to undo all the good work that uh, Mr O'Reilly did, my surgeon. Anyway, that's just a little update on what's happened and I'll show you now. The, the exhaust system's fine, it's, it's tight, it ain't going to come off. And the way I ride, it'll be it'll be safe. So please don't worry. So as you can see, I've I've took it off. I've given it a really good clean, sorted it all out, made sure that the baffle's tight. Uh, put a new exhaust clamp on down here, 
Sorry, can't see it. Get a light. There you are. Now you can see it. New, new, new shiny clamp. Reinstalled it properly. It's good and tight. It's all been talked up, and uh, we're in business. So for now, that'll do. And then maybe in a couple of months' time, when I've got a bit more cash, I'll be able to afford. Uh, I'm going to get a Black Widow exhaust system for it. Uh, 279 quid the Delvic one's a bit cheaper so I will just investigate that 171 I might well go with the Delvic and Richard bless his heart has said to me he'll help me install it if, if I want to do so I'll give that some thought but he's such a kind man to, to offer he offers his time freely he's a good hearted person and I'm, I'm very very grateful to him and also I had a great day out with him yesterday just a shame we couldn't get to Skegness. So Skeggy, if you wondered what happened to us, <laughs> it was my fault.